blood runs deep. That's some bullshit they sell the kids on the street. It's hate that runs deep. Hate for the queens with their painted nails. Some queer's name stamped on a fancy pair of shoes. Daddy's BMW birthday gift. The campaigns. Some Thai man tells me what and how I should eat. We were sick of it. The common man with calloused hands. Fuck everyone else. Beat into them like it was a game. I can never tell the reason for a fight. You crack a beer, smoke a cigarette, pick a fight. There is no reason. It's just for a high. In a world that doesn't let the working man strive, I knew there was a better way. It's hunger. It's strife. And it's necessity. That's how gangs are formed. hate. The hate runs deep. Stupid man. All they care about is money. All of them. I'm watching this guy right over here. Look. Look at him dance with that girl like that. That <laughs> faggot. Bullshit guy she's doing. Faggot. <laughs> Yo, any white dude that dances like a spick or a spade might as well be fucking gay, oh, right? Ah, you know, what you talking about spick or spade? I read it in a book. Oh, you read it in a book? I saw it on National uh -huh. Geographic. You're just jealous because he's got the moves and he knows how to put it down on a girl right. What the fuck does that uh -oh. mean? <laughs> No, no, you see, this is because you hang out with your fucking whore friends, come to these fucking whore clubs. It's a fucking joke, dude. Everything's a fucking joke with you, right? Fucking dysfunctional. I'm just waiting. Red, what's up, man? You ain't saying dick. I need a drink. Yo, 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 I got to take a shit. Yo, dropping the kids off at the pool. All right. You can find me shitting in the club. Hey. What's going on? Not so much. You know? So you can buy me a drink. Thanks, uh, bitch! Go <laughs> fucking grab a pill, you dirty whore. That's classic. You can't really drink. Fucking... Give that back. You can't do that. I can't. I just did. Alright, I'm out of this place. Can you believe that? Yo, that's in the well, boy. Yo, I'm trying to get the bartender with the dick in. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit okay. on. Okay. Yo, you better go talk to that fucking girl, man. You? you got it. Seriously. Yo. You stole a drink from these girls? Who the fuck are you, man? I'm the guy that's gonna stand up for what's right. That's who I am. You're the guy that's gonna stand up for what's right? All right, Captain America. I'll tell you what's right. What's right to get the fuck out of my face. You wanna run? I run, tough guy. Motherfucker. <laughs> Right <laughs> ah, happy birthday! Hi. 
It's your birthday. Let's get it started. Come on now. It's your birthday. Let's Remember when you started. used to do that as kids? Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. What do you need? What do you need? It's going to be plastic. Oh. Mm. Look at you two. What happened to you? Look at you two. We got into a nice fight. And we got oh, you guys really good. Jesus, oh, Mother oh, Mary oh, of God. I we served our time here. Yeah, the cops kept us all night, so we just got out. Jail? Mm hmm. Oh. You just got out of jail? Yeah. We deserved it. I got this guy so good. Fatty, I come in like this. Bow, right? I came here to the left on the chin. Bop. You would have loved it. Yeah. Where's I'm that, sure. Mom? He went out, something to do about a check. You know, you two better get upstairs and get washed. He's gonna be home soon. Go on. Go on, Charlie. I shall refer. Samantha, would you please get your feet off of the uh, dining room chair? I'll tell you how straight Georgetown was. My freshman year, you had to be in your room at 9 p.m. You had to have lights out by 11. They had a graduate student who'd come by to make sure it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> but the worst thing was, uh -huh. you couldn't have women in the dorm. No. No, absolutely. So I had a girlfriend, right? She's 17 years old. Uh -huh. She decides Hi. she doesn't want to wait. Honey, we have another guest. Doug, how are you? Good. Good. Hey, let me introduce you to these guys. These are doctors. Tom Romo, his wife, Lisa. Hi. Mark Rosen and his wife, Arlene. Nice to meet you. Doug Redkin, my contractor. Oh. Doug, Mark here is, uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong, aren't you building uh, some kind of extension, putting something yeah. on your house? Small, small little addition, Mark. I think you should be talking to my contractor. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me give you my card. Give me a call and we'll talk price. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. talk price with me first, all right? I know his income. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right, okay, you called. I know why. I'm <laughs> sorry, it's just been too much wine tonight. Here's a check. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, thank you. I appreciate your work. I really do. You're welcome. Stu. Yeah, hon? The papers. You forgot? Ah, Doug, um, could you do us a favor? Sure. The papers outside? Yeah. They're, um... They were moved. But, yes, apparently... They've been moved. Honey, okay, I'm gonna take care of it. Could you move them for us? Uh, to where? Uh, the other side of the pool would just be great, right? <sighs> yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, hey, Doug. Look, thanks. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Did I tell you guys I'm gonna race my M3? No. Yeah. When? It's in the shop right now. We're putting uh, some racing equipment in it, including a roll bar, so I'll kill myself. At least not the first time around. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna run at Watkins Glen, Lime Rock, and Connecticut as well. All right. How long have you raced? I'm just starting, that's the thing. Yo. What's up, faggot? What are you doing? Are you gonna go take it? You're gonna take a shower? Huh? You gonna shower? There's other people in the house, you know? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just tired of my knuckles hurting all the time. Well, that's how it goes, man, right? I'm tarping a Smith last week, remember? I'm up on the roof at 10.30 a fucking night. It's hailing on me. You think I get a fucking coffee? Right? There's someone to say you need a hand? No, nope. it's like, screw you, nigger, fix it. <clears throat> All right, this shit's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. It's not gonna stop, man. No what? offense, you complain about it a lot. No, but I'm not talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about you. What about me? You know, you're going to jail, you're getting people in trouble like that. Oh, shut we're up. We're not climbing into people's We're not climbing into people's houses and taking shits in people's hampers anymore. We're 27 years old. Going to a jail sticks with you and it sticks with my name. If you want to keep on doing this, that's fine. But you know, my father's got a business to run. My father's 53 years old and he's still digging ditches. What's wrong with that? I don't want to do that anymore. There's what nothing. the fuck does that have to do with me? It has everything to do with you. What? Whatever you do reflects on me. 
then you don't have the same name, so you don't have the namesake, so you don't, you don't have to take responsibility like I do. All right, was this lesson time? Don't use your head. I do use my head. Yeah, but use it in a different way. Use yours pretty good, too. You hungry or what? You gonna take a shower? Because there's other people in the house besides you. You want a Pop-Tart? Putting. What? Is it bucking or just putting? It's stalling at stoplights. The putting was months ago. She's idling fine. So what? There's nothing wrong with it? I didn't say that. But you really should have done something about it months ago when I first mentioned it, but now it's worse and you can't even fix it. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it, man. So. Well, I'm gonna end up stranded somewhere on the side of the road with your kid. Is that what you want, you lazy asshole? I'll fix it. Look at the piece of shit. You let your wife drive around in a shitbox because you're too damn cheap. You shouldn't have married a dumb law. Yeah, I should have bagged it up. Please. Hola, Rosie. Hey, Dad. Hi, Manny. Nolan. Nolan, come on. Let's go see her. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see how you grab grandpa. Can I have a kiss? Un beso. 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 Un How's that job in the city treating you? Yeah, you know, it's not bad. You're not kidding, man. Union work is always good. What's wrong with him? She's stalling it again. You check the plugs? Yeah, I changed all the wires, two the plugs. She's idling fine, it's clean. I think it's the module. Any crud on the connections? It's clean. Why don't you pull one of the plugs and let me get a listen to that? What's up, Pepper? Yo, what's up, my nigga? Hey, yo, I will bury you, white boy. Don't disrespect me like that. I was just saying, uh... Yo, you see my nails? I don't see no fucking... You can't see neons during the day. What do you want to see your neons for? Those shit are swag. Yo, check this out in here. I got some fucking weed in here. Yo, check that out, Thad. I hooked this shit up look, with a DVD and This is cool, man. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Shit, but, uh... I gotta show you these subs, though. Check this out. Look, man, all, all that's cool, man, but I'm saying, what's up, man? What you, what, what you need? Wait up, let me check this. Yo, Ma! Ma, you not Why is he calling his mom? Ma! Yo, she's taking a nap up in there. Yo, I don't wear this shit in the club. It's Hawaiian. Look, man, hurry up, man. I don't, I don't care nothing about that, man. I gotta go. I got something I gotta take care of, all right? You want that Hawaiian shirt, though? You want that shit? No. Do I look like I want just, a fucking Hawaiian shirt? I'm just saying. Slim, stop playing, all right? Stop playing. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, what you want? Just like half an ounce. Oh, shit, look at this! Put that shit down, man. I'm wide open out here. You trying to get me knocked or something? Yeah, Got me in suburbia, USA. It's hot as hell out here. Oh, man, I'm sorry about that shit, man. Yeah, and I meant to holler at you, too, about that other thing we was talking about. Yeah, man, we'll get that shit done. I just gotta talk to my cousin. All right, man, well, if we gonna do it, it's gotta be soon. We got a real small window to get it. Yeah, okay? I'll get that shit all set up for you. And we gonna need that van, too. Oh, yeah, no, I can get that van, man. It's all good, man. Holler at your cousin, man. Get back at me. You owe me for that, too. All right, brother. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? What? How the fuck is you leaving on my car like this, man? Are you serious? Give me the keys, man. I'm driving. Mm. I'm like Ray Charles talking, man. Get in the car. T-Block.
That's not a word. It's, it certainly is a word. Yeah, but you didn't. You put that there. That's not a word. I didn't put that. Adobe's my word. That's not a word either. It's Mexican. Really? It's not a word. This is, this is America. Word. It's what they make houses out of. Ad. <laughs> All right, I go. I want to tell you why you're going to college, Samantha. You know Joe in my office, he left his pay stub just out on his desk for all the world to see. And I had to go into his office to get something. Do you want to know how much that son of a bitch brings home every two weeks? Guess. I don't know, Mom. $3,600. $2,800. But that's twice what I make. Guys, Can you believe it? Fat prick, I met him. Yeah. I mean, I come home looking like death every day, and he has the energy to go home and make cannolis. To school, Mom. Cannolis. It's just going to school. Hey. You're damn right it's going to school, and that's why you're going to college. Samantha, a woman needs to pull her weight this day and age. She just can't, you know, sit around eating bonbons. And you can't work, save for a receptionist or a cashier, without a college education. But yeah, I get it, Mom. We do this every day. I know, but you better get it. Because you don't want to end up like your father and me, struggling every day just, just to put food on the table. He has worked hard for you kids, and you owe him at least. Oh, what's going on? Hi, honey. Hi, babe. You're a mess. Are, are those the dockers I got you? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. So here, wait. Let me get a let me get a cloth. I'll just hey, wipe hey, off hey, the hey, knee. No, 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 well, no, no, let no, me no. <gasps> Happy birthday. I love you. Let's eat. Okay. I'll open this um, at dinner, okay? Hi, hon. Hi, Dad. Samantha, come help me with the side dishes, honey. And I'll get one? I <laughs> know. You're ugly. <laughs> Where are you going tomorrow? Uh, Deer Run. Yeah, I want you to go to Steiner's. Thanks, honey. Steiner's? Well, I closed out Steiner's. Deck didn't pass. What? Why yeah, not? The inspector said we need to reinforce it. The homeowner wants to put a hot tub off the south corner. Oh, Jesus, man. What, they couldn't tell you that when you were throwing up the plans? I don't know. And we just got to tear up all the decking. Tear up all the decking? Yeah. Nick, I want you to go with me to Deer Run tomorrow. We're going to finish rocking 345. OK. So I got to I, I, I gotta do, rip it up by myself? Look, I just want you to try and salvage as much of that lumber as you can, OK? When you're pulling it up, be no careful control. it strips. Huh? Get a box of deck screws. Yeah, I know the drill. Tom Irish is going to help you. Tommy Irish? Uh-oh. Good. Well, you know we don't need another cleanup guy, Dad. I know, but uh, he just got back from Iraq. So who's loading the 347? We're not loading it, thank you. Why not? We don't have the money to pay for the load. OK, so uh, are we hurting for money? Yeah. How are we hurting for money? We're five houses in on Deer Run. But you didn't pay? No. That's the way those things go. Yeah, I know how it goes. Should have paid you 30 days ago. So what, we rock and tape and then we don't get paid? We're not loading in any more houses. Dad, that shit shouldn't fly. He owes it for three houses already. Work is work. He's got the money to pay for the load. Why can't he pay us? The pay for the load came out of pocket. Dad. Wow. This is skinny bagel. Cutting. Hey, fucking calm he's down. Gonna he's going to screw us, senior. Business is more than just digging holes, Fuck. guys. You're going to learn this in life. Gene is a smart man. He's a slimy fucking log. He's a businessman that screwed he's over a lot of hard work. He's screwing guys. us over. No, he ain't. No, he ain't screwing us over. Listen, Robert is already claiming that the work we've done isn't right. Ro Robert? That little dildo? Are you kidding? I was just there last week. The homeowners love the work, senior. Gene. Senior, they love the work. I was just I there. understand that, but Gene is going to hold the money because he doesn't have it. Yeah, he can't do that. Dad. He's doing it. Yeah, yeah but listen. So we hey, do. you just take care of the Steiners, okay? Well, I think that's everything. And who's going to say Grace? Fuck Grace. Hey. Sorry, <laughs> I was just kidding. For that. <laughs> Sorry. You have to sing happy birthday to your mother and we're watching. <laughs>
Hello, sir. Councilman George Lockwood running for re-election. It's a pleasure to meet you. How are you? Right. See, you're working hard. I want you to know, I worked a construction job when I was maybe 18, 19 one summer. Hardest summer I ever spent. Yeah. It was really difficult. So I know what the working man goes through. And I want you to know George Lockwood is a friend of the working man. Here, look, I've got a pamphlet here I'd like to give you. Maybe you could pass it around to your friends, but I appreciate your vote. And remember, I'm on your side. Uh, you know, I've got a bumper sticker. Would you mind if I put it on your car? I don't want this shit in the truck, man. Oh, okay. Well, that's a understandable. Well, anyway, nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Gene? Schlosser developing, Iris speaking. Oh, hey, Jack. How are you? All the kids are fine. And yourself? Well, glad to hear it. No, Gene's not available. No. I know, I, I know, we're a little bit behind, and I do appreciate the phone call, and in two weeks' time, you'll have a check on your desk. Correct. Thank you. Pleasure speaking with you, too. Bye-bye. Fucking shit-ass bastards, we're six weeks, six weeks behind. I saw the numbers, we're doing okay. We're doing okay? We're fine. We're doing okay? Look at these. How many of these, uh, how many of these have been paid, huh? It's a big project. I can't rob Paul to pay Peter, you understand that? The vendors have to be patient. They're being patient. The vendors are always patient. It's the government that gets you. Now, the, the city contracts, how many are, are behind? They haven't passed their budget yet. Oh, for God's sake, those lazy sons of bitches are better. Look at this. Not so. Again to the bathroom. How many times does he have to go to the bathroom? In the meantime, the other two guys over there, they're waiting for him to get back. They can't finish the job till he gets back. They're standing there with their fingers up their asses. My God, we're going to be so far behind, there's not going to be any catching up. Well, you know, for your information, Cottrell won't budge. Oh, Cottrell, Cottrell, again with Cottrell. He's barely making a living off that farm. Oh. What did George say about the rezoning? What do you think he said? They're reluctant. It's historic, and so is his name. Oh, historic, my ass. The fucking bureaucrats. Oh, yeah, sure. They can build the shops at town center over his cider house. Me, I can't buy out of his farm. Fuck. George, go get George. He's out there campaigning. That's enough with the campaigning. Get him in here. Get him in here I'll now. Get him, I'll get him in here, but would you do me a favor? Can you please just relax? You're going to give yourself a heart attack. I give myself a, a heart attack. Anymore. I already have a heart attack, as far as I'm concerned. All right, just pop. Just, just. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm sorry to get these screws out of this wood. Yeah, but you can't take screws out with a hammer. You got to use a screw on just take a break. Come on over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta rip these planks up. Well, the screws are stripped. The heads are snapped. I'm gonna have to get a tank bar and rip this up. I'm not gonna be able to salvage them. You know this? How you been, man? I was a rock. If you don't mind me asking. Well, what do you want to know? And you left in 03? Yeah. How many, how many tours did you do? Two tours. Were they a year? Each tour was a year. So what have you been up to? It's traveling. Yeah, you're not lying in the grass puking over smoking a cigarette. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. So it's good. You've been traveling around. Where you go? Anything special? No. <laughs> Morning, fellas. You Charlie? Why, what's up? Uh, building department. Someone called in an inspection. Inspection today? That's what it says here. Well, we just got here. Well, that's okay. I uh, I just need to look at your footings. No, we didn't put them in yet because we got to rip them out. We got to rip all this up still. Are you going to rip all this up? Yeah, you got to rip it up, put in an extra footing, and hold the hot tub. It's bullshit, you know. Yeah, well, maybe, but you can't just rip this all up and throw in a couple of footings, all right? All the support beams are in. This whole deck's tied together. No. Well, you guys are the one that told us to put the extra footing in. I never said that. Well, one of the other guys. Okay, said. well. All right, is this where they're planning to put the hot tub? Yeah, that's right. What, does the architect know? Yeah, of course, he's my father. Well, your dad's gonna have to drop a new set of plans because this whole deck is gonna have to be shifted. Shifted? Yeah. Well, no, it's all right, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna dig a hole, and then we're gonna put in the extra footing, and we're gonna assist her with joists. It's not gonna be a big deal. Okay, well, is that what your dad told it's you to dig, do? Yeah. 
favor, Charlie. Will you get your dad on the phone, please? We well, gotta be a dick, man. Be a dick? Yeah, I mean, it's two feet off the ground. You're talking about code, okay? You're know, talking about this is a deck. It's, it's strong enough to hold the, the, uh, the hot tub without the foot. You don't know that. Yes, I do know that. I've been working in this business long enough to know that this deck can hold a hot Just tub. get your dad on the phone. I'm not going to get my father on the hey, phone. Hey, pal, how about I just issue a stop work order? Then you can go the fuck home and see how much that costs. Fucking like bullshit, man. Doug, Patty, good to see you. Oh, hi, Dr. Sanger. How's your wife? Uh, she's doing fine, but let's talk about him. Hey, Doc. How's the hand? Same. Hurts. Mm-hmm. Have you been working with it? No, just drafting. No labor? No, the guys have been real good about that. He's been under a lot of stress. You been wearing the brace? Yep. Okay. Well, the good news is we got the report back in from your MRI. The bad news is the insurance company says there's not enough damage to justify surgery. Not enough damage? What, well, what does that mean? I mean, my husband is in pain. He can barely use his hand. What do you mean they won't justify surgery? Unfortunately, that's just how it is. I mean, in this case, the surgery might not even help. So what, are they going to wait until it gets worse? No, we'll continue with the therapy and hope that it'll get better. Well, what if it doesn't get better? I mean, my husband's going to lose his hand, then what? But no, nothing like that's that going to happen. I assure you, Patty. Let's just forget about the insurance for a minute. Yeah, just give it to me straight. What's causing the pain? In layman's terms, Doug, you're uh, dealing with bone rubbing on bone. No, let me show you. See that gap in your wrist? Mm -hmm. You've lost all the cartilage in that joint. What causes that? It's just a case of overworking it over the years. His body's finally catching up to itself. This type of injury is common in, in men in your field, Doug. Oh, so, so it's, it's not going to get any worse, right? Oh, sure it is. I mean, each time he overworks it, the bones are rubbing against each other. They're, they're grinding each other down. The therapy could help. Excuse me. Oh, Doc. Sweetie. I'm sorry. Sweetie, can you just get that later? It's Charlie. I've got to get it, okay? Stop. Excuse me. Charlie. Is there something else you could give him for the pain? Sure. Okay. Oh, Michael. Stone. I I was just leaving to go have dinner with some friends, but I wanted to pay you now so I don't hold you up. I can wait for Frank, Mrs. Stone. It's not oh, a problem. Heavens no. He won't be home for hours. It's 200 cash, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, here you go. Thank you. Well, you know, Frank always used to do this, but he's just so tired these days. He's been working so hard. Yeah, don't I know it? <laughs> How many years he has left at the plant now? Three years. Can you believe it? Ugh. They work you like a dog. Yeah, boy, do I know. <laughs> well, it's almost the weekend. Good news. It's good to see you again, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. And I will tell all our friends about what a good job you boys have done. And we've actually hit a few of them up already. Have you? Oh, well, you boys work so hard, don't you? <laughs> all right, bye-bye now. Take care. Yo, I will work her hard. That's like a grandma right there. She's got to be under this. Fucking retarded. Shut up, man. Yo, how much you get? A couple grand. Oh, shit. Let me see that paper. Where the fuck did you get that from? Don't worry about it. <laughs> She's from the 516, right? Seriously, I told you. You've been working on that shit for two Some, months. Seriously, man? You don't fucking think. Look around you, man. Oh, there's no pecs in here, me, man. Don't forget why we're doing this. We're talking about another man's dollar. You don't fuck with that. If you keep your mouth shut, we could be pulling this off all over town. I know. I know. I hooked up with this chick nine months pregnant. Nine motherfucking months Daddy pregnant. Daddy daycare? You fucked her? That's what I'm saying, man. Oh my, I'm did fucking the baby I... grab your dick while you were fucking her? No, the baby didn't grab my mother. Little <laughs> baby arm grabbing your dick. It was like a hand job. Grab my baby. Grab my... Yo, hey, man, I'm telling you, this girl, she was having a girl and shit, too. She was having a fucking girl. I was like fucking like a, a yeah, fucking no, baby. That's how young, no, that's how you young I get them. No, 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 that's how fucking young I get them, though, man. 
Uh, what up, Brad? Oh, you no show at work today. What's up with that? What are you talking about? You're not talking about it. You show up at work. I showed up. I was on a job with Mace. I you want a up. job with Mace? Yeah. What about me? Mace, tell what, him I was. What job? We was we was a couple driveways. Job. I was waiting for you. Wait, doing driveways? Yeah. What? That's what I'm talking What's about. What's this? Bam! Why two K? Two motherfucking K. That's what I'm talking about right there. So you can take this. Yo, man, we earned that Come shit. On, you bro. earned that for the two thousand dollars in there. You made that doing driveways? Yeah. That yeah. shit. Nice. You can do it, man. Well, shit. Who'd you hit for that? Nobody. I swear to God. I earned it for real. We did it in Stratford. You made $2,000 doing driveways? Yep. How many driveways did you do? Ten driveways. Ten driveways. You did ten driveways in one day? That's what's oh, up, shit. man. That's good. You're talking about work like you know what you're talking about. Just take There's no that. way you made $2,000 doing driveways. Sorry. Charlie, I'm not going to ask you again. I got some extra barrels. I made some money. I got more left over from You work. sure you should be talking about that in here? Why? Because you got fucking Dolce Drywall over there and fucking Joe Idiot? Who gives a shit? Lie it down over there. Yo, blow me. Bunch of faggots. I love those guys. Two fucking mongoloids. Dude, take the money. Tell Senior I got it from Genova. Genova? He should be he should be working two jobs, pay off that debt. Well, and what about Gene? He's another one, right? Another crook. Are you are you trying to piss me off with this shit? Don't get a huffy, oh, man. You're fucking talking about nice. Gene. So what? Ira? Between Genova than Gene. <laughs> fucking Ira. Ira! You're half Jewish. Would you name your kid Ira? How am I half Jewish? <laughs> your wife's half Jewish. My wife's not half Jewish. <laughs> She's Sephardic <laughs> Jewish. My wife <laughs> farted? <laughs> Fucking Jew bag, man. And you know that little prick Robert? He's doing all his daddy's dirty work at the development there. I don't know Robert was Gene's son. No, he's not his son, but he treats him like he is. He gives this fucking kid whatever he wants, man. Whenever he wants it. I was on a job site, man. People were telling me, Ronnie Jr., the plumber, told me that uh, he's saying the work ain't done right. The work, the work done's fine. Sloppy. Robert's just a fucking asshole. He's just trying to pin that on us. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, maybe, you know, Something should be done, dude. Are you starting with me? I know what we should do. Don't tell me what we should do. Are you talking about my father's reputation? No shit, Red. You, drive, well, you should know, because you're driving around in this truck. My truck's in the shop. Yo, you just fucking throw something? Uh, no, I never do. It's just a lime. It's just a lime? Dude. I don't give a fuck. You threw it at my friend, right? It's all right. You didn't hit me. Hit don't me. fucking tell me what it hit. I got eyes, genius. It, it didn't hit me. Are you fucking laughing at me? Guys, not Yo, are you fucking laughing at me? Yo, man, we're, we're all the same here, bro. It's all right. Cool. Chump, are you cool? Are you cool? Are you cool? Yeah, I'm you awesome. Cool? See, Mike he's cool. cool. He's fucking cool. Cool. He's, he's cool. Come on, put it behind us. Come on. I get wound up sometimes, man. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yo, nah, what the fuck? Yo, yo, yo. Wanna laugh at me now? Laugh at me now. Yo, pick up your boy and get the fuck out. Oh, there's five. I don't give a fuck. Okay, that's how it's gonna be. Yo, get up, Steven. Get off. I'll be seeing you. You'll be seeing a lot of us. What? get you her number, she's pretty easy. No, that's all right, but why don't you go check that wall out? Well, we got this nick in the paint, and this trim, this trim is terrible. What were these guys, drunk? I can't believe this. Hey, Red, oh, you have to look mud all over the boots. Oh, oh please stop. Oh, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing it? I'm gonna call Gene. What do you expect me to do? Wait, what do you expect me to do? I'm gonna call Gene. If my father gets stripped out of money, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Uh, hey, Gene, I'm Red's here. You uh, understand? Uh, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, he's gonna be gonna pay. Hold on, hold on, talk to him. Robert. Talk to, talk Robert. to Gene. Talk to, talk, Robert. Talk to Gene. I will kill you. Talk, talk, just talk to Gene. Just, just talk to Gene. Just talk to Gene. Just talk to Gene. Hello? Yeah. 
Yeah, but you know... Hey, Gene. Okay. R Red, he said your father's a good man. And the check's in the mail. What's that, Dell? Oh, hey, Dad. I just beat them in football with two touchdowns. Way to roll. Hey, Dell, why don't you run inside with your mom? I'll be in in a second, all right? It must be nice, huh? Hey, Nick. How hey. you doing? I'm good. Why don't we go around the back? Come on. Fine. Girls, you want to go inside? So, what's up? What's up? Are you honestly asking me that? I should knock you out in front of your kids. I should. Calm down, Nick. I, I know why you're here for the money I owe. Yeah, I am. I, I honestly don't have it. You don't have it. You know, Senior puts you on a payment plan. You ask for his help. You said you got no money, and you go get a goddamn hot tub? And that's for my wife. She's got a bad back. I don't give a shit about your stupid wife. We did good work for you, man. Real good work. The work is yeah, really good. Yeah, you took advantage, didn't you? No, the work. We the bent work over backwards for you, and you took great. advantage. You took advantage of his kindness. I should not have to be here right now. I shouldn't have to tell you this. I know. You know. You don't I'm sorry. Shit. You're sorry because I'm here. That's why you're sorry. We need that fucking money for our lumber loads, our dumpsters, put food on our family's plates, and you could do this? I'm I sorry. God, I'm dude, sorry. If I was young, I would lay you out right now. I would drop you like a fucking bad habit. Go inside and fuck your wife that eight grand you owe. Then what? What are you going to do to that, huh? I'm going huh? to that? I'm gonna get you the money. I'm going to get you the money. You're going to get me the money? We need that fucking money right now. I, 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 Pay that fucking money, Vince. I will. I'll be here again. I swear to God, I'll fucking watch you I'll like a I'll put walk. the money in the check in the, in the mail tomorrow. Why don't you do it today? I, I'm going to mail it when I put the money in the... I don't have the money in the account. I'll put the money in the account. I will put... I will, I will write the check. Yeah. Vince. Look at me. Paid. I don't get paid. Look at me, motherfucker. Pay, pay, pay the check. Look, well, I said I was going to get you the money. I'll do it right in front of your kid. I swear to God, I will. I'll fuck you up right in front of your I'm kidding with you. I put told that you money that I'm in the fucking mailbox today. I'll kill you, motherfucker. Fine. I'll put the check in and tomorrow I'll deposit the money. Done. Where were you? I was getting a coffee. Where were you? I was at the deli getting a coffee. Did you just get back from Deer Run? I want to thank you. Why? Because you just lost us Deer Run, and you just lost us Fox Chase, too. I got no money coming in. Do you get it? I don't even know if I'm gonna get paid for the work we already did. Dad. I, I, Dad, I... We lost the development. Yo, it looks like Kmart got raided up in this shit. <laughs> Look at you. You making fun of what I'm wearing? Yo, this shit is tight. Look at this shit. I'm part of Chinese Superman. Fuck that, man. I look good. Oh, shit! 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 Pussy. Fuck, man! Shit! You're gonna kill me! Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll knock you out! Fuck, pussy. I... Oh, shit! You wanna go? Oh, Hi! Look at that shit! Oh, what? shit! Step on! Oh, oh shit. <laughs> See, that's how you push a broom slim, you fucking lazy bastard. Yo, let somebody else do that shit. I'll be making that fucking money, baby! Oh, you be making them G's? Oh, shit! Yo, man, I was at Nordstrom's the other day. Yeah! Nordstrom's? What the fuck is gay Chinese Superman doing at Nordstrom's? Man, I was returning some shit for this Your panties? Shit. Returning your panties? Oh, man. Yo, this chick at the counter was nice, though. Fucking nice. It's big ass. Man, I like to go for cougars. I like, you know, 
like grandmas. Like man, I'll eat, I'll eat them at like 50, what 60, 70. For, but like, yo, what the fuck color. are we looking for anyway? Take it easy, bro. The egg, you know the fucking Dodge Stratus. Anything oh, in the nineties Dodge. I drive a Dodge Stratus. What's wrong with the Dodge Stratus? I'm a middle manager. <laughs> you never seen that episode, man. I need a module, guys. Yo, why am I at a dealership Dude, anyway? We're in a fucking junkyard, man. I'm just saying, man. You talk too much. Oh shit, this shit is cracking. Yo, so I'm gonna push some more weight for Thaddeus, man. I can get cash to red that way. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, Slim. You think fucking senior's gonna take drug money? You really are a fucking asshole, man. Whatever, man, it can be done. You're not fucking doing it, you understand me? And you better stop dealing out of your fucking house. It's your mother's house, you moron. Have some fucking respect. I'm just saying, fucking be done, man. I swear to Who fucking God, if you open your fucking mouth one more time today, I'm gonna break your fucking nose. Nobody wants you dealing. Daddy is or not, you're gonna fucking ruin everything that's going good for everybody around you. you. Got a fucking college degree in your fucking head, you can't even push a broom without crying. Without family, you got nothing, kid. You got nothing without your family, man. Remember that. Start thinking with your head. Not your fucking cock. Finally, speechless. There's some drywall on the house over there. Back there. So what can I do for you, Doug? Well, I'd like to talk about getting back on the job. Getting the job back? <laughs> Your bottle rocket son almost cost me a $700,000 sale. You know what that is on the market? I'm well aware of what it cost you. Yeah, are you well aware that the damage he's caused is coming out of your payment? I wasn't aware I got paid, Gene. Oh, <laughs> oh that's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with a radical here. Come I, on, uh, Paul. Uh, Take, let's just, you know. I thought you came here to talk. But maybe you came here to collect money from me, huh? Here, take this. Beat the money I ain't got out of me. I didn't come here to make threats. That sure sounds like it. I just came here to get some kind of agreement so that I could get back to work. Douglas, we can't do this anymore, OK? Robert's, he's scared. He doesn't know what's going to come next. Robert, he's the whole reason that we're all so Fucked up. Don't you talk about Robert that way. Oh, come on, Gene. Robert's escapades have cost you more money than anything my son ever did. Mm, that's not the even issue here. I'm not worried about the issues, Ira. I just want to go back to work. I'll pay for the damages. I just want my guys to finish the job that they started. <laughs> no, that won't do. That won't do. Because I don't want your son on this site. All right. The other guys, not my son. I swear, I'll never set a foot on this job site again. All right. What do I need you for, Doug, anyway? I, hmm? I only got Daltrey to finish the job. What do, you, what do I need? What are you paying him? What am I paying him? Two thirds of what I was paying him. All right, we'll do it for two thirds. No. You want on, you do it for half. Half? Are you kidding me? My guys are twice as fast and twice as clean as Daltrey, and you know it. Well, considering the setback your son put me in, you that's a good point. Okay, uh, Dalton finishes the day out. Your guys, minus your son, finish the block in three days. Three days? That's impossible. Three days, half the price, that's the deal. Come on, Gene. You know that can't be done. If I had an army, I couldn't get those houses done in three days. Well, you don't want it? Can't say I didn't offer. <laughs> All right. We'll do the work. But then you pay us for everything within a week. None of this 30-day bullshit. Fine. You finish the work, we'll pay you. And then the uh, work that's already been done, we get at the regular rate. Minus the damages. Minus the damages. Deal. OK. Oh. I didn't mean to ask you, Doug, how's that property you got coming along now? Uh, uh, you break ground yet? No, not yet. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, what do you got? You got about uh, 10 lots over there? Yeah. 12. Wow, 12. Oh, 12. 12 lots. Well, that's a whole street. Yeah. Someday it will be. Hey, that's really good for you, Douglas. That's, it is. It's, it's good. It only took 10 years. What's holding you up, Doug? <laughs> What's holding everybody up? Money. What are you thinking? You should have had him in court a year ago. He owes you money for God's sake. I didn't you have agree? a choice. Oh, Douglas, don't give me that. There is always a choice. Your own son we're talking about here. Charles, get off the counter. I don't have any money. I need to get paid. Well, what is more important, your family or the business? The business is my family. I do all of this for the family. Everything I do is for the family. Do you know, you know what I don't understand is how you didn't stick up for me. The guy's such a fucking asshole. Watch your mouth. Oh, fuck it, Douglas. The guy's a scuzz bucket. What nobody seems to be remembering is that we don't have any money. You see that? Huh? You see that chicken there? That's it. That's all there is. That's the end. The end is here. I am so sick and tired of all I ever hear about is money, 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 Mom, money. Mom, shut up. Hey. Don't you talk like that to me. I'm How sorry. dare you say I'm that to sorry. me? I am your mother. Mom, you don't talk to me I'm like that. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I don't care what you're just saying. Don't just talk like that. that. Mom, just I let said him. don't yeah. talk like that. Just let him talk, Jesus. And who are you to raise your voice to me? You're not letting anyone talk. This is my house. I will not have my children talk to me this Can way. Can we all just fucking calm down and discuss things like a real family instead of always yelling? Oh, we're not good enough for you? Mom, she's not saying that. No, I understand. I, I understand. Your father and I have put a roof over your heads all these years. Oh, but we are not good enough for you. This is not good enough for you. You're better than us. Fine. You don't like it? Fine. I don't have to cook. I don't have to clean. I don't have to do any of the things that I do for you, too. You don't like the food? There! Oh, Patty, hey. Jesus you don't Christ! You not to eat it no more. You're not going to appreciate the work that I do for you? That's what you'll get. You want to eat, eat that. And don't you, Jesus Christ, Patty me! If you'd done your job as a father, these kids wouldn't be talking to me this way. Hey, he does his job. It's you. All you're doing is sitting around and complaining. All I do is sit around? Was I sitting around last week when I took you to Megan's house? Was I sitting around last week when I, when I took you to the mall so you could get Joey's present? Was I sitting around then? That's what a mother does. And how do you know that? Is that what your friend's mothers do? You're a psycho. You don't like me? Then get out. Fine. I will. I'll save Joey's because his family isn't fucking crazy. You know, I'm so tired of you. I don't need you anyways. Samantha. You walk out of here. You are never coming back. Do you hear me? You are never coming back. Nick. Yeah? I want you to call Mason and Tom Irish. Tell them to meet us over at Deer Run at 7. OK. You are starting tomorrow on a Sunday. I'm what about church? starting tonight. Tonight? Tonight. Look, I want you to go and grab all the work lights you can find, load them up with the propane heaters, all right? I'm in too. No, you're not going anywhere. Why? Because I said so. Dad, if you're working tonight, then he's not going to come till the morning. I can work all the way through. And, and what if he finds out, huh? What if he he's finds out? He's not going to find out. And Dad? what if he does? Dad, this is, this is ridiculous. You, you, you need me. Yeah, I do. But you're going to stay here, and that's final. I gave the man my word. You want me to call up Slim? Yeah. Uh, he can work with you. Um, Mason and Tom can do the second house, and I'll rock the third. I'm really sorry. Me too. You know, I just, I mean, it's just too much. I just can't take anymore. It just gets to be too much. I know.
up in the morning. Go down to the store. Price is getting higher. I can't take it no more. Got my guitar. Try to bend a note. I look at my neck and Dad, I, I got you some coffee. I got it black because they didn't have any half and half. I got you some peanuts and uh, Granny Smith apple. Sorry. Wait. What do you mean you're sorry? We just Wait didn't get to him quick enough. You didn't get to him quick enough? What do you mean you didn't get to him quick enough? We've been here for four hours. What do you mean? The heart muscles you, sustained you considerable amounts happened. of damage. Well, Charlie, he said he'd wait a minute. It was just too much. What was too much? You didn't do anything. I know you left him sitting there, lying there. I'm sorry for your loss. Wait a minute. Come back here. I want to talk to him. Let me go. I want to talk. You know how it was years ago, and um, well, um, I'm on payments, and 
you, you gotta give me another, just another, another month because I'll, I'll, I'll be able to uh, pay you something that just, uh, you know, my father's good for it, I'm good for it. Because right? then I'd be able to pay back the... Oh, so there's no possibility for that to happen. What is it that you need me to do in order to make this? Because I need the credit. I've been good. My father's been good for you for 15 years, Jack. No, I'm going to get you something real soon. I'm not able to tell you. To, well, look, you want to walk away? Then that's, that's fine. What are you getting all excited about? I understand that, sir. But um, look, I'm just trying to make my business work at this point. No, I'm not threatening you. You're threatening me. OK, I can't do this. All right, Frank, I'll get you. Jack, I'll, uh, I'll get you something. Rides nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, fucking classic, man. Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. What are we gonna do about the car? You have any ideas? I don't care. I'll drive into a ditch or something. Man. Blow it up like a fucking movie, man. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't exactly do that. I mean, he knows we stole the car. Mason, I don't give a fuck. He fuck deserves that. it. Fuck him. I don't give a shit. We should probably give it back. No, I'm not giving it. Give not giving it back. back. I just stole the fucking thing. Yeah, well, he's gonna call the cops. He's not gonna call the cops. Man, ain't nobody going to the he's fucking gonna, cops. He doesn't have any proof, Charlie. The car's sitting right in front of the fucking place. Wait, Irish, should we go put a tarp on top of the car? Wait, 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 before you go, why don't you show Mason your present? Boom! The fuck? Bro, that's a document, man, I saw him I take it. I know what this is. It's got Gene's signature, Ira's, and Cockwood. Bro, he's got nothing on us. Charlie, this is crazy. We should probably give the car back. That man owes my father thirty thousand dollars. The way I see it, we're getting even. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Yes, it, has it fucking worked. does, man. Nas, let's be serious. Let's be very serious here. This man is stealing people's land, and he's getting away with it. Why? Because he's rich. Because he has money. Fuck that. 
Fuck that. If he can do it, then we can do it too. I, I, I need money. I need immediate money. Right here. These are invoices. I know what it is. Invoices. invoices. This is my. This is the, they're canceling my credit, and I won't be able to run my business. And right here, and it's a foreclosure. It's a foreclosure on the house. My father does bad bookkeeping. We're around foreclosure. I, I need. I need immediate money on the house. I, I need immediate money. I can grab a couple barrels a week. I mean, we could do Michael, the driveway thing. Michael, Michael you're not going to be able to come up with thirty thousand dollars doing like driveways. That, I Look, I, I don't want to talk to you about that. I'm not dealing with dealing with. I'm not going to deal with him. What are you fucking saying? If we fucking what are you saying? What are you saying? Yo, he's got something big planned. So that you can all fucking get in on this, man. I don't man. care what the fuck. We can all going get in on this. Stop. The kids. The, the, the guy deals the drugs to little kids. Charlie, stupid. Let's get back to the car. My uncle knows a guy up north by Jersey City. We can get 10, maybe 11 grand for it. I mean, he'll hold us over for a couple yeah, of weeks. you can get 10 easy for that, Mason. At least easy. until we figure things out. 10 grand's good. Okay, let's just start. I've got a couple ideas. Check up on Marisol. These cannons came out aces. Yeah, we're gone for a couple of weeks. Really, Charlie, they look great, man. Senior will be proud. the cops involved in this, Gene. But believe me, I want to get those bastards back. I'm afraid you don't have much choice, George. We already filed a complaint. What if they find out about the kickbacks? <laughs> Go on, George. You think you're the first politician to accept a bribe? Come on, get off it already. Take care of this. I'm telling you, Gene, those kids got something going on. 
and it's bringing in some real cash. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is that I think you'll find a cooperative business owner if you look into this bar thing. Somebody's getting fucked here. What does he mean, cooperative business owner? George, these kids destroyed your car. We're gonna hit them hard, where it hurts the most. I know that, Gene, but I still don't know what we can do. George, listen to me. We're gonna draw up an ordinance in conjunction with the DEP that you'll sign off on. It's gonna affect most of the land that borders the wetlands. In order for it to pass, we'll have to get some business owners who'll benefit by it. This puts you in a lovely light as a councilman who is genuinely concerned about the environment. Okay, now I can go along with that, but I still don't fully understand what this is about. George, it's better that you don't understand. Just sign it. Yeah, it's better that you don't know the details. Go ahead, John Hancock then. It's all good. Okay. So I think, I think we got everything right. Uh, we got the countertops here. We got the color that you picked out. Uh, the cabinets are all set. And, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. The only thing is, in my opinion, what I think you should do is to really make this kitchen look nice is to get a new floor. Because, see, the floor is sort of like it, it, it doesn't blend in with just... the cabinets. What we can do is we can pick out these tiles for you and it'll really bring out the stain in the cabinets. I didn't ask for tiles. Bring out the sienna in, uh, in, hello? in the countertops. So is what you're telling me that you scratched my floors so you no, can well, sell that's me just, some that's tile? just a cardboard. Is that... But the, you can take a wet rag and it comes right out. I take a wet rag? Well, well yeah, I could take a wet rag. Right, exactly. Okay? No problem. Mm -hmm. So how do you like the work? Besides the deck not being done. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, like, how do you how do you feel about, about, about the kitchen? You like the way we cut the corners here? Cause I designed that myself. It's like. The, I don't know. I didn't uh, notice the, the corners of the you, like, cabinet. I just feel. want this to be done. Oh, well, it's, it's done. It's finished. Okay, good. You know, because this whole thing has been a nightmare. The amount of stress that I, I've been put through. You guys have been in my house for so long. It's just left a really bad taste in my mouth, and I just want it to be over with. Okay, I just want this okay, to no be done. Problem. Is there anything we could do? Yes, you can finish my deck. Okay. And you can get all the shit off my okay. rug from so you far. guys coming I'll in and out. Take care of the deck tomorrow. I'll do a rug right now, okay? I'm gonna go get your vacuum cleaner. Oh, I got it. It's okay. I'll take care of it. All right, get off now. Hey, hey, sawdust, she can get it with a fucking vacuum. Hey, hey, just get up. Calm down. Get up, man. Fred, get up. Knock it off. This is something I gotta do, all right? And stay on your fucking knees. Take it the car. What? Can I have the keys, please? No, not Mason, not tonight. I'm making dinner right now. Okay, I'll be back in an hour. Okay, a... Mason, I'll be not back... tonight. It's almost ready. I'll be back in an hour. Sweetie. Mason, it's gonna be now, ready. Get your hand off me, please. Mason, where are you going? What? Can you give them back, Mason? Please. Get your, get your fucking hand off me. Mason, I'm not kidding. I'm not tonight. The... Not tonight, Mason. I'm sick of this. What are you doing? I'll be back in an hour. Mason, Don't not put your fucking... tonight. Not put tonight! Your fucking... ah! Some extra fucking water, no. sir. Yeah. See, I told you. Fuck that. Hold that order. Yo, that he is. Man, what up? Good. What's going on, man? What's up? Uh, oh, what's, what's good? going what's on? Daddy, sir. Daddy. All right. Yo. Naz, man. Naz. How are you? Good to meet you. What's up, Naz? Hey, man. It's my man Trey. That's D. All right. So, hey, thanks for coming out, man. Uh, some filled this in about everything. So, uh, you know, we're looking to do some work too. Well, I got a little plan. It's a good opportunity for everybody to make a little money. All right. I no, just want to make sure you and yours is ready. Yeah, you don't have to worry about us, man. We're good to go. All right, well, if everything legit, then we can get some money. Stuff that um, I have to do to 
fix up what you didn't finish. If you did some stuff I had to leave hanging, I had to figure that out. And then, um, then we could uh, work on this number. Probably, if this is 170, probably, I could take it off your hands so maybe 120. And just say, you know, if I figure it out and you have maybe 10 to $15,000 into the job, I can give you a check for 10 okay. to 15 grand. All right, yeah, I'll do that. Man, my nuts is frozen. Whew. Cold as a motherfucker. We got a problem. Yo, they, they ain't no problem. Red is a problem. No, I told you, man. Red is not a problem, He's man. Red's a problem. problem. I got this shit handled, Thaddeus. Fuck it's red. not even a... You can't fuck handle you, red. Fuck both of you. If you can't handle red, you can't handle this situation. Fuck both of you. That's it. And Thaddeus. Yo, Thaddeus! Thaddeus! No, man, I put this shit together from the start! You walk away, you're walking away from the money! So what do you think about this Thaddeus thing? I think it could be a real asset, you know? 
I don't know, man. I'm thinking that maybe we should end it. Are you fucking crazy? End what? This thing could put us over the top, man. We're on the verge of something big right yeah, now. Yeah, I think that's more of a reason why we should end it, like, right now. No, that's not a reason to end it, dude. We're doing good. We're not ending anything. We're doing real good. Are we? Yeah. Come on. We're helping people out a little bit, you know? Well, is that all we're doing? No. No, Red. We're putting money to the business. We're putting some nice bank in our pockets, man. What's the problem? The business isn't doing good. We're not taking care of shit. The more we do this stuff, the more we become the people that we hate. I, I think you're wrong, man. You're wrong, Red. People are starting to notice me, us a little bit. Fucking Finnegan's dad is happy as shit we did My that. My father wouldn't be happy. You fucking bailing on me? I'm not bailing on you, I'm telling you. What are you telling me? What, are you my boss now? Yeah. Yeah? Well, what the fuck were you thinking about when, when you were laying down trim over at Steiner's? Couldn't you cut that Steiner? shit outside? Stop. What, what the fuck, Red? I'm just... Steiner? Yeah. You're blaming me for that shit? Well, look, I'm just saying to you, you're not using your head. You know better than that. Don't blame me for that bitch being a bitch, all right? Well, that's what you're saying, but your mind's all wrapped up in this high school yeah, shit. I am. And you're not I thinking. I am thinking. Not about the work. You're thinking about the cash. Yeah, I am. What, Red? Because I want to stick it to these scumbags? I'm not the same anymore? I'm not saying that. Then what are you saying? I'm saying I'm out. What? I'm out. What the fuck, Charlie? You're fucking bailing on me. I'm not bailing on you. I never fucking bailed on you! Ever! It's wrong. It's not wrong, man! It's wrong. Whenever you wanted to do anything since we were fucking kids, Red, I was always there no matter what. Always! I never doubted you or thought twice about it, man. You want to do something, I was in, no matter what. Now I find something I want to do, something sings to me, it feels right, and you're gonna fucking walk? You don't have my back? Red, please, I was always there for you. Look, I'm out, Michael's out, and that's the end of it. It's over. Michael's out? Yeah, Michael's out. Well, fuck Michael. All right, you know what? You made your decision. Yeah, I made my decision. Okay, well, don't bring it back to my house. Don't bring it back to my mother's house. Oh, fuck this shit. Fuck you. He went over to Jean's. Jean's? Yeah. Jean called, said he wanted to talk, so Charlie went over. Who's he with? I, I don't know. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Nikki? Nikki! What's all about, Gene? Well, I don't know if you boys have been keeping up with town resolutions lately, but in case you haven't, you know what? We brought you a copy. Ira? Uh, what it states is that part of the new environmental initiative that some of our green business owners here that have um, endorsed, the town will be passing a new ordinance mandating the immediate discovery and preservation of state wetlands within the town limits. My father used to like you, Ira. I liked your father. No, he's just a fucking cocksucker. Hey, hey, just like your hey, father. Hey, hey, take it easy. Come on, Red. We're talking business here. Come, come on, bullshit, come Gene. What's this about? Okay, so the point here is all land that falls within the newly determined wetland zoning, unless previously zoned for business or residential use and continually inhabited or structures historically grandfathered then, that wouldn't be you, uh, will be considered open space and therefore default to state property, thereby prohibiting the development of any such land. Does the control farm fall within these boundaries? Fortunately enough for Herbert Cottrell, it does not. You're a fucking cocksucker, Gene. Look, I'm prepared to offer you a deal here. I don't want your fucking deal. Oh, really? 
I think maybe you might want this deal. George? Uh, well, Mr. Redkin, uh, according to our town records, um, your father, Douglas Redkin, purchased uh, property here bordering on the wetlands about five years ago. Then I'm prepared to offer you $350,000 for that acreage. My father bought that land for $600,000, you fucking cocksucker. No, 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 okay, okay. No, it's a low ball figure, but you think about what you're doing to your family. Your father put up his business in the home you live in for that money. Think about what happens if you default on that loan. That's all I'm saying. $350,000 is a lot of money, Charlie. You should take it and run with it. $350,000 is a pile of shit. I don't deal with Jews. <laughs> I don't deal with Jews. $375,000, that's my final offer. Why are you doing this? Why? Because the town ordinance doesn't pass for three to six months. If you can build on that property before then, no problems. So you want to take away my land so you can make a profit? Charles. You're going to stand there and let them do that? Listen to what he's saying. You don't have the resources to build I don't have the resources? Right, right, right. Listen to it. Be logical. Listen, Red, listen. Be listen. logical. Red, yeah. Red, with $375,000, you can get rid of the debts that will accrue on that property while you hold it. And not only that, you could take that money and just extend your father's dream. You can fulfill your father's dream. Think about that. I am. You can do what he wanted to do. Four drivers had to claim bankruptcy, which I think this man here should be responsible for the problem. The stuff I had to do for the last 18 months, no one should be put through. Honest men like my father, driven from their homes and pissed on, the American dream stolen, we will steal it back. I've always wanted hands like my father, but you can only make so much money with your hands.
Man. 